Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how to use jQuery plugins in your websites. So to get started we're going to open up Firefox and we're just going to type into Google jQuery and we're looking for the jQuery website so it'll be the first result so just click on that link. And once you're here, you're looking for a download um, button or the download menu. So I'm just going to click on download right here. And so now what we're going to look for is the header that says CDN hosted jQuery. And so basically what we're trying to get is the jQuery library so that we can actually use the jQuery functions. So you can do this in two ways. You can either download um, the jQuery file yourself and then link to it within your HTML or you can link to it on someone else's server. And by linking to it on someone else's server, it basically saves you bandwidth um, as well as um, just your total downloads from your site. So I would definitely recommend doing it on someone else's site. So um, here we have it is hosted through Google. So we're just going to highlight this first line, which says ajax.googleapis.com and all the way through the .js. And so just copy that line. And so now we're just going to go into Dreamweaver. And then we're going to create a new HTML document. And so right underneath the title within your head, you're going to take and hit enter. And we're just going to type in a new script tag. So I'm just going to open bracket, script, closing bracket, open bracket, slash, script, and then closing bracket. So now within the head script tag, so this first one that we created, we're just going to hit space and we're going to do type. And we're going to go to all the way down to text slash JavaScript and hit enter. All right, and then we're going to do space and then SRC for source. And then we're just going to paste in that um, link that we had before. And so basically now we should have the jQuery library um, working within our page. So I'm just going to take and save it. And we'll save it to the desktop and we'll just say jQuery test so we can test it later. So there's one more thing that we need to do before we can actually test this because all we've done is link to the library. We haven't actually used any of the jQuery code. So what we're going to do is just test to make sure it works. So we're going to go back to the website and just go back to the home page. And right here on the home page they have um, a section called J jQuery resources and getting started with jQuery. So we're going to click on the link that says how jQuery works. All right, so now we're just going to take a scroll down until you see um, launching code on document ready. Now the way that um, jQuery works is that you need to have all of the code that you want to run within um, a specific bracket basically. And what we're looking for is this dollar sign document dot ready function. And we're looking for the one that says your code here within it um, so that we can kind of start fresh. So we're just going to take and copy that. And it's basically checking to make sure that your document is ready to handle the jQuery and everything's working fine um, before it actually runs any of it. So that's what that does. So I'm going to go back into Dreamweaver. And we need another script tag, so I'm just going to go after that and type another script tag. And this time you don't need the type or anything within there. Okay, and so now we're just going to take and paste that code that we have in there. And so it should um, be able to recognize that it's jQuery, um, probably depending on your version of Dreamweaver. But for me, like the document word changed to like a pinkish purple. And so you should see the code change a little bit. So what we're going to do is basically um, still we have nothing that's actually showing if it's working or not. So we need to type something in. So um, a really simple um, line of code, we're just going to take and delete out the your code here, is an alert. And so you've probably seen this before and it's really annoying, but it's definitely helpful for checking things. So we're just going to say alert, open parenthesis, two quotes, close parenthesis, semicolon. And then inside of the quotes, just type something like testing jQuery. All right, and then save it, and we're just going to preview it in Firefox. And so we'll open up Firefox, and you can see that this little alert box comes up that says testing jQuery. And so you can click OK, and it goes to nothing. So you, if, if you get that message, then it's working. So um, then you can just basically take and delete this out and put in whatever you want in there and actually run it. So until that point, um, I would recommend not doing the next step because you want to make sure that it's working um, because there's less things to check if you made a mistake. So I'm just going to save that. And so the next thing we want to do um, is I'm the whole purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use jQuery plugins. So we're going to go and get a plugin. So I'm just going to go back to Firefox and we'll just open up a new tab and one of my favorite plugins is called Cycle and we'll just say jQuery Cycle. All right. 
and just search that. And it should come up as um, the first result, jQuery Psycho plugin. It's jQuery.malzup.com slash cycle. All right, so here if we scroll down, you can kind of see what the cycle um, plugin will do. You'll basically have a list of images, and it'll be able to cycle them in different ways. And so what we're going to be doing is this fade right here. So just fade from one to another. And so the first thing that we need to do in order to get started um, is take and go to um, this down here where it says see more demos and examples. Um, basically there's a link that says super basic demo and so for the purposes of learning we're going to click on that and this is the fade um, in fact so we're going to take and in order to actually see how it's working go to tools and then to web developer and page source and that's probably different in Internet Explorer, so you'll have to check that out. And it's, again, different probably in Chrome and other browsers. So just find wherever your page source is and take a look at that. So the way that this is working um, is first they're linking to the jQuery library like we have done already. And then they're linking to the Cycle plugin, which take and if we go back to the Cycle plugin, you can see that there's a link here that says download the Cycle plugin. If you click on that and then click right here where it says Cycle plugin, it gives you a whole bunch of code and you can save that out again um, in its own file, kind of like the jQuery library if you want. Um, but again, if it's already on your, um, or if it's already hosted online, then it's a lot easier to just grab that. And if you look right here in this code, it is already hosted online. So we can just basically take and copy this and you'll have the cycle plugin right there. So we're just going to copy that, go to Dreamweaver, and right underneath where we have the library, we're just going to hit enter after that script tag and paste that one in and save it. So now we should be ready to use the cycle plugin. So I'm just going to go back. And again, I got to this by um, viewing the source of that page um, for the super, super simple um, or super basic demo right here. So by viewing the source of that page in case you're um, having trouble following along. So the next thing that we need to do um, is within our um, JavaScript or within within our jQuery we need to actually take and put in the code that runs the slideshow. So we have the code that's um, able to run the slideshow like all of it but we only need certain parts in order for it to actually work and so what we're going to do is you can see here's the document ready function that we already have. So we have this and we have this so we need what's in the middle. So we're just going to grab out these middle lines, copy them, go to Dreamweaver. And so we're just going to make it look just like it does on there. And so we're just going to paste those in. And I'm just going to format it a little so it looks a little better. And so here you can see um, you have dollar sign slideshow dot cycle. And then the FX um, is set to fade. And it says after it, choose your transition type, fade, scroll up, shuffle, etc. And those are kind of those things that you saw on the home page. And if you're looking for um, a list of those, I think they have a list right here. It's effects browser. And you can take and see all of them. And it'll show you a little example of it right there. All right. Um, so let's go back into... Um, the source code. And so what we're looking for now um, is go down into the body tag of their code. And what you're looking for is this div tag. And that's pretty much what runs the entire gallery. So we're just going to copy out that div tag. And I'm just going to paste it into Dreamweaver in our body. So again, making it look just like theirs. All right. So the way that this works is um, jQuery targets the class of our div. So it finds a div with the name um, with, with the, has the class of slideshow and then it targets it which is this dot slideshow up here and then it says to cycle which is a custom function within their library and so basically then it runs through the images and this whole thing that we copied and pasted up here um, handles that and figures out how that should work so basically that's why plugins are easy instead of writing everything from scratch um, you just take and plug it in and just type in a couple lines of code and you're good to go. So let me show you, um, we can test this. Let me just save this out. And this should be working in Firefox. So let's open that back up. And here you can see these are their images hosted on their site and they're running through them. All right, so now if you wanna use your own custom images, all you need to do is replace these links. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. Um, an easy way to replace links um, is to take and delete out the link and then delete a quote and then type in a quote and then you can just click on this little browse thing there and you can bring it up and I'm using these dreams time images stock photos and so again delete the quote 
enter the quote, and then we can take and add those in. And then I have two more. Let me pull this up so you guys can see it. Okay. And the last one right here. Enter. All right. So we're just going to take and delete the last one. Um, you can do as many images as you want, um, and it should probably be able to handle that. So I'm just going to take and delete out um, all of the height and width, and pretty much it would make them full screen right now if I left it like that, so we don't want that. So I'm going to take and type back in the width. So width equals and then two quotes and then inside of that we're just going to take and type 500 and that's 500 pixels but the pixels is implied in that so we're just going to copy that paste it on each line so again you don't really need this step unless um, I'm sure that you guys have a custom uh, width already for your images just make sure that they're all um, the same size and you should be good to go otherwise it might freak it out a little bit um, so we do need to test this so we're going to save it first and then we can take and go over to Firefox and refresh and it should refresh it so now you can see these are my custom images and it'll take and fade to the next one and so forth and then after that it'll go back to the beginning so you can see what um, benefit jQuery actually has it's really easy to implement this into your site um, once you've done it once or twice and it definitely saves you a lot of time. Like if you were to take this and make this in Flash, the file would be a lot huge, um, or it would be much larger, um, and it would just take longer, um, and it wouldn't work on mobile devices. So jQuery definitely has its benefits, um, so it's definitely worth looking at. Um, so I'm just going to go back to this Cycle plugin and show you a couple more things if you are interested in this. Um, you can download the Easing plugin and install that the same way that we did this one. So um, basically they have beginner demos which show you how to do some of these um, things and they show you a little bit more code and they um, do a pretty good job of explaining it and they show all the effects and everything like that. The intermediate demos you can see that you have other options within your um, cycling which are um, things like easing which was what I told you you could download the easing plugin and they show you how to do that and you can take and delay it so that it takes longer between each of the um, image rotations however you're doing those and there's all kinds of different things within that um, and there's advanced demos and other demos and everything so again if you're having trouble um, figuring it out you can always view the source and then make yours look just like theirs and it should be working um, one more thing I think I didn't mention um, within here, um, the class, I did mention that you need, um, that that's how it targets it. So if you do change um, the class of the div that you have your images in, make sure that you change it in your JavaScript as well. Otherwise, it'll break it from working. Um, so I just wanted to take and mention that. So um, I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And I'll see you next week with a new video tutorial. Thanks for watching.